So, you learned Blender. Congratulations. You know about the interface. You know to click tab to get to the edit mode. You know the extruding tool, the loop cut tool, beveling and inset. You know the majority of the modifiers. You know array and boolean, solidify, subdivision, surfacing. You know the physics modifier, cloth and collision. You know sculpting, you know UV mapping, texturing, lighting and rendering, composition. You know it all. Now what? You're probably saying, I learned everything that I ever wanted to know at the moment for hard surface modeling. What is the next step? Where do I go from here? How can I escape the never ending series of tutorial watching? that take up so much of my time. Time that could have been used doing something a bit more interesting. Ask yourself this question. Why did I learn Blender in the first place? Was it to make a comic, illustrations, make digital media products, or just to have additional skills as a freelancer? What prompted you to learn it? And try to remember what you were thinking at that time. Don't get me wrong, tutorials are very helpful. They help you learn, but you need to put it into practice. You need to execute what you learned. You want to show who you are. You want to show what you can do, which will be your own ideas. And that's the answer to the question. Do your own ideas, do something. Do what you always wanted to do. You have the knowledge and the skill and the means. It is time to fulfill what you wanted to do. It is time. And that's just what I did. I got to work making 3D scenes that were interesting to me. The only time I looked at tutorials was for something I didn't know how to do at the moment. For example, how to make a curtain. Let's see, I just picked one that seemed recent, skipped to the part where they got to the point, and then I watch for about three minutes, and when I finally get my answer, I leave a like and close the video and return to my 3D modeling. That is how I have been doing all of my 3D projects since 2021. Of course, if it's something brand new, then I will take the extra time to acquire that knowledge and watch a full length tutorial video. But that's about it. That is the extent of my tutorial watching. I decided very early that I was not going to pay attention to how little I knew about the software, but instead, I focused on the knowledge that I already had and posted projects that would showcase my skill set at that time. By doing this, I would eventually see the progress and the improvement with every 3D project that I complete. I do have years of experience using Maya before using Blender, so that explains why my transition from one to the other was not that difficult. Some of you may have no experience in 3D software and that's okay. All artists learn at their own pace. However, there comes a time when you just have to stop watching tutorials and start implementing what you have learned. And this is not just for you guys. This is a message for me as well. I'm taking my own advice. You have to start practicing what you learn. There's only so much your brain could handle. I know how much my brain can handle and sometimes it gets overloaded with information and I just need time to process. What better way to process than to actually put the knowledge into practicality and learn as you go. And that goes for everybody. If you are experienced in Blender or even if you are a beginner, this is for you too. Don't get stuck trying to learn everything at once. After a while, you just have to move on. 
start getting your own projects out there. Build your portfolio the way you want and don't put too much pressure on yourself to learn everything. You're only one person, just like me. I just use Blender for all aspects in 3D and I've been going with the flow for the past three years. Nobody is going to hinder me from trying to accomplish what the Lord put in my heart to do, including me. You understand? So get those projects out there. Understand that it may or may not look good. For the most part, it wouldn't look good. But you have to just decide this is how it's going to be until I get better and better and better. And once you get over that, you'll see how easy it would be for the next project. And that is what you do when you learn Blender. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment if you relate to what I said. Subscribe if you want to see more. Join my email list. Yes, I have an email list where I share classes and content. And I'm now starting to give away 3D art content. So if you're interested in hearing my perspective on how I do certain things in Blender, then feel free to join my email list. The link is in the description. With that being said, take care everyone and see you in the next video. Bye!